This is absolutely unheard of. Research has shown that zinc, a trace mineral, is a potential nutrient to treat and shrink an enlarged prostate, also called benign prostatic hyperplasia. But here is the real question. How much zinc is enough to make a difference? And how long do you need to take it to see these results? I am going to answer all of this in this video. And if I were you, I will not skip any part of this video because if you do, you may actually miss some vital information. Now, zinc is one of the most important trace minerals in the body. It is required for the activity of over 300 enzymes covering all the six classes of enzymes. Now, what's really fascinating about zinc is that zinc in the prostate actually is about 100 times higher than the one in the blood, than the concentration in the blood. Now, zinc is one of the key components, it's one of the key constituents of your prosthetic fluid. It is very important for your prostate in regulating the function of the prostate as well as the growth of the prostate. But the bad news is that majority of people, majority of men with prostate issue, whether it is prostate enlargement, BPH, or prostate cancer, are actually deficient in zinc. And in fact, studies have actually shown that in prostate cancer tissue, may zinc level decreased by up to 80% compared to healthy tissue, while for those with benign prosthetic hyperplasia, their may zinc level decreased by up to 61% compared to healthy tissue. So zinc is actually very important for the prostate. When we look at prostate issues most of the time, it is often associated with aging. As you age, your zinc level decreases either due to poor diet, nutritional deficiency, or downregulation of zinc transporters in your body, and that can actually result in BPH, that can result in prostate issues. Now, talking about the right amount of zinc you actually have to be taking to shrink your prostate, now, the recommended dietary allowance for zinc, the RODA for zinc for adult male, is 11 mg per day, while the tolerable intake of zinc is 40 mg per day. So, tolerable upper intake is simply the amount of a nutrient you can take that is not going to cause issue. So, this is the amount of zinc your body can actually tolerate. If you exceed this amount, that is going to result in problem that is going to affect your copper level. Now, talking about the right amount of zinc you have to be taking to shrink your prostate, I will actually recommend you start taking 25 milligrams of zinc every day, okay? Because you are already deficient in zinc by up to 61% if you have an enlarged prostate and up to 80% if you have prostate cancer. So you actually need to make up for it. Larger doses up to 25 milligrams per day is actually needed to replenish the concentration of zinc in your prostate. Now, where can you get zinc? Well, you can get them in foods like an oyster, you can get them in pumpkin seeds, poultry, legumes like lentils and chicken peas. You can also get them in whole grains. Now, if you are a vegetarian or you are a vegan, you actually, and you are getting your zinc from plant-based sources like legumes and whole grains, you actually have to increase your intake by up to 50%. Now, the reason is because Plant-based sources can actually bind to inhibitors like phytate, which can reduce their absorption in your bloodstream, in your intestine. So by increasing your 50%, that is going to ensure that you are, take, you are getting the right amount of zinc. But for convenience and precision, I will actually recommend you start taking zinc supplement to shrink your prostate. If you are taking zinc supplement, you can easily calculate the amount you are taking 25 milligrams per day, okay? Now, the supplement I actually recommend is zinc picolinate. Zinc picolinate is very bioavailable. When you take it, your prostate can easily get the zinc, and that is going to be very helpful in shrinking your enlarged prostate, in reducing the growth of your prostate, as well as in reducing inflammation in your prostate, all right? So, this is actually the amount of zinc I actually recommend. And the supplement I recommend is zinc picolinate. Now the next question is, how long do you need to take it for before you start seeing results? Well, by one to three months, you should start seeing improvement in your symptoms, all of those painful urination, urgency, and all of those symptoms of an enlarged prostate. So by three months of taking zinc supplement, you should start seeing significant changes. All right? Thanks for watching.